This is David Sachs. I'm an entrepreneur who um, founded Yammer, which we sold to Microsoft last year, and uh, previously was the CEO of PayPal and done a few other things. And I'm with the, the founders of, of Shoot. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves? Sure, I'm Greg. This is Ranbir. Uh, we're the two founders of Shoot. In the first conversation, it took a long time for you guys to essentially describe what it is that Shoot does. And we really, we spent just about the whole 10 minutes uh, talking about that. And when you look at really successful startups, they usually can describe themselves in just a handful of words. It's, it's actually amazing how concisely they can describe themselves. So, you know, in the case of PayPal, you know, we described it as emailing money. Or, you know, if you look at Elon Musk companies with Tesla, it's battery-powered cars, or with SpaceX, it's reusable rockets. Uh, we describe Yammer as, as an enterprise social network. Um, you know, we really got it down just to, to a few words. And um, now, obviously, in all those cases, the, 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 um, the tagline is a, it's a gross simplification of what the company does, but still it's incredibly, I think, helpful and clarifying just to be able to have that very concise tagline or description of what you do. Um, yeah. And um, and I, I never really got that um, last time, and I think that would be a good thing for us to to work on today. The second thing I want, to, the second takeaway is, you know, I mentioned this on on the last um, call, was that you typically see successful startups doing one thing, uh, not a bunch of things. You know, typically one product, not a bunch of products. Um, now, once you get to this, to you know, mega success and you know, you're a big company, then you can afford to have lots of different products, multiple brands. Um, you know, if you look at Apple, um, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, so on, they all have multiple product lines, multiple brands, um, and they can afford to do that. Um, but with a startup, usually you need breakout success with one product um, to, to get to that point. Um, and by having multiple products, multiple brands, you actually just... Um, Diffuse your energy, and um, so I want to talk about that because I know you guys have a, have a you know, there's about five different products advertised on your website. What I really want to know is is it really one product with a bunch of features? I mean, is it re or is it really five pro products, five brands, five code bases? Because if it's the latter, that's like a real business issue. If it's just the former, I think that's a marketing problem that that we can fix pretty easily. I think the the, the, the faster discussion is potentially the the latter. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's absolutely the, the same platform and the same technology and the same code base. Um, and I think you're absolutely right in that it is a marketing problem. Um, we, we actually never had uh, marketing people on staff until about a month ago. And, mm -hmm. you know, what, I think one of the, the penalties that we're paying from that is that, you know, we, we had uh, some ideas on how to brand and market and position and, you know, we, we were wrong. I, I think it's it's now we've we've absolutely realized that bringing things under the shoot umbrella and continue to promote the shoot brand with its different features, and and those features being you know really the the use cases for um, for the platform, uh, I think is is a much more powerful and scalable uh, solution. So you know ultimately what we do, and and I, even addressing the first point, we look at ourselves as the complete visual marketing platform. And so to us, that means a brand or a publisher will seek us out because they want to ingest all of the media that's being created in the world about their brand or by their brand. We give them all the tools to manage it, and then we give them all the tools to publish it. And those include shoot live and shoot ads and you know, various other kind of, again, use cases or, or really features to help you manage those different use cases. Um, and, and the one thing to, to obviously highlight is people do come to us to solve one problem in many cases, or people come to us to solve a number of problems. And so one thing that I think we need to do better from a marketing and really website perspective is that you, sh you need to be able to come seek us out um, as in, as in, you know, for like an industry, um, by industry, by sort of vertical, and, and sort of see the things that we can do for you. You need to be able to come seek us out for a specific product because oftentimes people hear about us and they know we do one specific thing or the set of features that, that can kind of be called a product. Um, and then, of course, who you are, right? What's your role? And in, in right now, we're kind of revamping the website 
to address all of those entry points because right now we have a single entry point talking to you know everyone who might potentially be seeking us out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's review some of the the product brands that, that you have. You've got Slide Shoot, sure. Shoot Ads, mm -hmm. Shoot Live, Tiny Meme. Um, you have a REST API, and then various um, components that people can drop in. Um, right. You've got a product called Media Chooser, and then you've got a product called Avatars.io. That seems right. like that's that's a lot of. Is that the list? That's a, that's a lot of products, right? That's about the list. That's about the list. Yeah. So you know, it, and it's kind of funny because it, it you know, SlideShoot is a, is is our admin, really. You know, and you, our admin lets you choose where the media is coming from. Media Chooser is one of the things, right, that you drop on your website and lets people upload photo or video content to any page, so it can turn any page into a two-way sort of conversation instead of a one-way conversation. That just happens to be a component in our developer library that people can download and use independently. Uh, and in fact, we have many, many people who do use it independently as opposed to part of the sort of complete package. But to us, that's a source of content for a brand. Um, you know, and, and there are things that we would go discover in the admin like um, subscriptions, like you're, you're listening to certain hashtags or usernames or geofenced areas on Twitter or Instagram. We're pulling in media from those sources as well. But, you know, our, our kind of new paradigm and our new branding, which is, and this is very topical because we're in the middle of it now, just talks about shoot and then the different things you sort of do with shoot. And there's three stages of shoot. There's the collection stage. Media Chooser is part of that. A bunch of other things are part of that. Those are all features. There's the management stage, and that's sort of, okay, here's the tools to curate. Here's the tools to edit. Here's the tools to, to sort of, um, you know, kind of decide what you want to do with that media. And then there's the publishing stage, and that's, do you want to put it in an ad? Do you want to put it on a live touchscreen display? Do you want to power a Times Square billboard? Do you want to put it on, on, on a Facebook tab or on, on your website? And, and really, that's kind of, that's the workflow, and everything we do effectively falls into that workflow. Um, and, and of course, the developer toolkit allows you to build really, really extensive customizations in that workflow. Or, you know, and this is the or, and it'd be great to get your feedback about this, you don't have to use our sort of software and management layer, right? You can just talk to our API, and you can sort of pick and choose what you want to do with it. I guess what I would would recommend um, and you know what what I hate seeing um, startups do is ever using any branded terms on their website except for you know their main brand on the you know top left corner right their their main logo to me that should be the only brand on a website um, that that's a startup you know again once you're Apple and your icons um, completely recognizable by everybody on earth. You can start investing in sub brands, um, but when you have sub brands as a startup, all you're doing is um, is sort of um, diffusing energy away from your main brand. I mean, it's not like the world knows yeah. what what shoot is yet, right? They don't even know probably how to pronounce it. They don't know whether it's shoot, shoot, coot, whatever. I don't know. I mean, so. It, it's it's a lot better, I think, to focus your energy on having one product, one brand, and then having tabs within that product that are just labeled in the clearest, most generic way possible. So you mentioned that you know slide shoot really is your admin panel. You know, much rather to see that called admin, um, and and so on down the line. You know, you'd have tabs for collect and you know the the other. Um, the three steps of your process that you mentioned, they could all be tabs. And I don't think it's necessary that every customer uses every part of your product, but I think it's, um, but at least it'll be there in sort of one holistic, organized package. All right, well, thanks very much. All right, thanks a lot. Next time. All right, bye-bye.